ask Tom on Home Show. Glenn from Humble has a question about decorating Hardy. Well, they recently did a Hardy install in his garage, and they got this. And as you can see, there's there's some blue in front of that, right? Glenn writes, "We now what, what we now have is a huge white wall next to the pool, and my wife and her artsy friends created an array of poor paintings, about 18 to 24, on some old political yard signs. And they did it to fill the space. So my question now is, how do I mount these pictures on the Hardy Plank? My wife and her artsy friends suggested first horizontally mount two four by eight resin lattice panels to the wall and then attach the pictures to the panels. What would you suggest, Tom? I'm sure it would work. I haven't seen it with the pictures if there were just... Uh yeah, they're just on. The you know, they're on the back of those. No, no, they're they're done on. Uh, that's why I put left it in there in his question. He, he's going into a little more depth about it. But what it is is they you took a bunch of political yard signs, and the back of them are white because usually they only paint on one side. Well, I understand, they, but they're yard signs. But they're they're, I mean, you they're made take, of that corrugated plastic, that that kind of light. Right, you can plastic. take thumbtacks and put it in there and put a little. It'll be probably fine for a while. Yeah. Uh, but it depends on how they're going to hold together. Do they want to have all the different yard signs with different uh, paintings, whatever they did on them, which I totally understand the corrugated plastic signs. That, that I get. Uh, so it really, it would work with the lattice too. Here's what you want to do. If you want to hold something to Hardy that's going to be a structure, let's say it's a lattice structure. Let's say you put some uh, purlins, some strips on there that you want to, Put those things in you can just use little tacks or whatever to put those little signs in because they don't weigh anything you just don't want the wind blowing them away uh, as far as that goes when you attach to hardy you got to find out where the wood structure is behind it and just go through the hardy into the wood with a screw say about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch into the studs if that's what it is and then you could go ahead and hang anything on the lattice work or any of that if you want to do that that's fine but nailing anything heavy like lattice work or any kind of uh, ledger strips, you're going to have to go through it into the studs themselves. So you'll have to find those. But you don't need a lot. Maybe two or three screws will hold the whole thing up because those little uh, signs, they're just corrugated uh, plastic. They're not going to have any weight to them at all. Uh, quite frankly, I love the decoration that's there already with the clothesline and the and the swimsuits hanging out dry. And, uh, I don't see why you would need anything else. I'm only there joking. Are a couple there are a couple of towels. <laughs> towels, maybe, yeah. I'm only kidding. Uh, okay. But the fact of the matter is, no, I, want, I want to make this clear. I did the same thing to my pool. We built this outdoor kitchen, on, and the side of the garage was all white, and it was hardy. Now, I hired a friend of mine to do a mural on the wall, and it's next to the kitchen, because it is horrible having this big, white, black, just, I mean, uh, bland wall sitting there that you're looking at so you got to do something to it so i actually have been in the same boat i handled mine a little differently but yeah just be careful with hardy don't hang anything that's got weight to it and screws don't hold into it because it gets kind of chalky but if you put some ledgers or some lattice or something up go through it to the studs yeah, you can reach our stud by clicking on that blue button that says Ask Tom. And that, that home improvement stud right there will answer your question with whatever information you send us.